AI is taking over all jobs. I'm just gonna give up. I'm like, where's the closest beach? I just, I'm over it. There's gonna be no job soon. Okay, can I say something? Listen, AI is not going to take over all jobs. What it is doing is it's making and creating new jobs, new opportunities in different fields. You know what I should do? I should sit down and share with you exactly what these areas are so you're well informed and can stay out of the game. All right, fine, tell me more. All right, we're going to start with one of my favorites or one thing that I have been dreaming about since I was a little girl. And I think a lot of you have too. Or I'm basing that because a lot of times when we watch movies or see in storybooks, this is what it is. Can you guess? Autonomous vehicles or autonomous driving. Now this is really interesting to me because the rise of self-driving cars is not only changing transportation, but it's also opening up a wide array of new job opportunities. And I think this is really cool because if you have certain background skills, maybe not directly in tech, but in other areas, you can apply them to many of these different jobs and learn about tech as you go. I mean, okay, let's talk about the tech side and I wanna show you just how many roles are within this sector. I mean, for one, you need machine learning engineers who develop the algorithms that power these vehicles. And on the other hand, we need a lot of cybersecurity experts. I mean, a lot. Cybersecurity is an area that is continuing to grow in demand. And I think with autonomous vehicles, we are going to see that continue to increase. I mean, think about all the safety that is required with this. Then here's another one for more of you designers or creatives out there. UI UX roles will play a huge part with self-driving cars. I mean, think about the experience from when you get into one of these vehicles, you want to have it very, it feel very natural, feel very seamless. Okay, speaking of autonomous vehicles, I want to share with you probably, no, not probably, the coolest autonomous vehicle that has been making waves specifically in Las Vegas, and it will soon be coming to so many other major cities, so it's something that you should be aware of. I'm referring to the Hyundai Ionic 5 Robo Taxi. Now here's the really cool thing. I've seen this in different clips shared that are located in Vegas where it is currently being tested. But here's the really cool thing. It's actually undergone a driver's test. And I think this is super fascinating. The person who did the driver's test, she typically fails almost 85% of people who take their driver's test on a daily basis. So I was like, there's, is it really going to pass her test? And here's, let me share a clip with you. I'm Candace Jones, a certified drive examiner for the DMV. I've been doing it for about 25 years. In that time, I have failed thousands and thousands of students in the interest of public safety. If I take about 18 a day, three would pass. And we're gonna get this started. Do you think it'll pass? I have my doubts. It's gonna be the same criteria, just like testing a human. We'll be monitoring the speed. Are you going too fast, too slow? How it does a lane change. Did you signal early? Did you signal late? Did you forget to signal? Okay, so you're kind of like me probably thinking, there's no way this is going to pass the test. But before we get to that, I wanna share with you how these Ionic 5 robo taxis are really impacting people's lives. Okay, I wanna share with you though about Pearl. Pearl is someone who lost her vision and check out her story. But I have a retinal degenerative disorder. And as my vision got worse, I gave it up. Smooth eyes, water. People don't realize how her freedom is limited by her disability. <laughs> a lot of blind people don't get out in the world. There have been times where I've wanted to go somewhere, but it's challenging to get a ride or ride share is too expensive. So it's like you're always on somebody else's schedule. So you can see just how incredible the impact is on these autonomous vehicles, the Ionic 5 Robo Taxi. Now, here's another thing. These Ionic 5 robo taxis, I mean, for me, I don't know about you, but when I am driving or someone else is driving, driving me around, I often find that they're either on their phone, distracted by billboards or ads, or just not fully engaged and end up missing a turn, getting stuck in traffic. It is so frustrating. Now with these Ionic 5 robo taxis, I mean, they don't get distracted. They are there. They are making meticulous calculations to get you from point A to point B in the fastest time possible. Okay, but I feel you. The other thing that comes up is around safety. How can you feel comfortable getting in something like this? And at first I felt the same way, but like everything, we have to go back to the tech. 
So the Ionic 5 Robo Taxi is actually classified as an SAE Level 4 Autonomous Vehicle, and it's equipped with various sensors to ensure safe driving in various, in all different environments. And these sensors include advanced radars, lidars, and cameras. Now back to the driver's test. So it ended up passing the driver's test and the driver instructor goes on to say it did so very, very well. She was extremely impressed, which is really cool to think about. Surprisingly, it was a perfect score. Oh my God, that's yeah. awesome. I'm impressed. I'm giving it a thumbs up. I mean, even at the beginning of showing about the driver instructor, she was hesitant. You know, she was open and honest that she didn't know if it would pass. But then by the end, when she was riding around in it, she was 100% confident that yes, this is so safe, this is the future, and she was so excited about it, which was really cool to see. So it brings up the question, with the adoption of the Ionic 5 Robo Taxis, could this mean in the future that we don't even need to get driver's license? We just hop in one of these vehicles to take us around? I mean, think about all the time it would save. All right, coming in at number two is NLP, or natural language processing. So it's no secret, this is a very budding and trending area right now, and edge machines get better at understanding and generating human language, NLP is continuing to find applications in various sectors. I mean, a few to name examples would be content creation, language translation, think about how you interact. I'm gonna use the example of chatbots because that is most commonly right now how a lot of us anyways interact with NLP. So what opportunities will be created with NLP? I mean, think of linguists, data scientists, and software engineers. These are just a few examples, people who will be building and interacting with NLPs to various degrees. And I think another thing that is so important to note is that a lot of these roles, even if you don't come from a tech background, but you have another background that you specialize in, you can bring that knowledge when you start really integrating that knowledge with other AI knowledge. It's pretty cool when you start and think about it. I think one thing that it will really do is AI will need experts from various fields to come together depending on how it's being used. All right, number three on the list is computer vision. This to me is fascinating and it's threaded throughout some of the different things we spoke about earlier, but here is why it is going to make such a big impact in the job market. So AI powered computer vision is honestly revolutionizing industries like healthcare, retail, and manufacturing. Now, what exactly does computer vision do? What, how would you explain it? So when you think computer vision, or you want to explain it in a simple way, you can think of it as enabling machines to interpret and understand visual information. So where could this be used? Well, think about it in examples of using it for medical analysis, cashierless stores, and then also to production quality assurance in production lines. Production quality assurance in, yeah, you get what I mean. Some include data annotators, computer vision engineers, and domain experts who can apply this technology to specific industry areas. It's pretty cool if you ask me. Number four on the list, I mean, look at my little friend here. I, I only wish my little friend here was real. But number four is robotics and automation. Now this is something I am so interested in. I think it's super fascinating and I think you should be too. And here is why. So as you know, AI is enhancing the capabilities of pretty much all software systems it feels like nowadays. But what happens when you merge AI software with robotics hardware. That is when magic happens in my opinion. That is when you can get some really incredible things that start working and start taking place. I mean, we've seen different examples. Think about Nvidia's little robots that they recently showcased. And I say little, they're very powerful, but little meaning they made them look cute and friendly in this one. But there are so many job opportunities with, within robotics that are continuing to open up. I mean, think of robotic engineers, AI specialists, technicians. These are, because it is a hardware aspect to it, it really opens up this entire world of jobs for hardware specialists. So maybe you don't come from a software background, you have a hardware background. Next thing you know, the two worlds are merged. It's pretty cool. All right, those are the top four areas that AI is going to impact the job market, make so many different jobs for. I mean, even within these areas that I listed are so many different areas that you can specialize in. It's pretty incredible when you stop and think about it. We often hear the negative side of, oh my goodness, is AI going to take all our jobs or different things like that to really hone in on our fears. But when you really take a step back 
think about it. AI is going to open up so many different opportunities for us and there are so many jobs and roles needed. Honestly, some that as I was researching for this video, I didn't even know existed, which is pretty cool. All right, thank you all for watching this video. I hope you found it very valuable and helpful as you navigate looking ahead as to what's next for you. What are some job opportunities that are out there? I think it's pretty important to be very well informed. If you haven't already, you know, you know the drill. Hit that subscribe button for more tech, future tech, coding, career, all things tech. And leave in the comments any other video topics you want me to create. All right, thanks all.